Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining me. Uh, Root Beer here, and we're going to be looking at the 2017 Hypatia Contest. So this is the grade 11 level contest from the University of Waterloo, but they have two. They have the, the Fermat, which is a multiple choice contest, and then they have this, the Hypatia, which is still in grade 11, but we have to write things up. We have to provide justification. We have to do written solutions. Now, there are still some short answer, just give us the final uh, uh, number sort of questions, but uh, uh, what we really focus on with the Hypatia is, is, is writing up our solutions because Hypatia, along with the Galois for grade 10 and the, uh, the Friar for uh, grade 9, are excellent practice for the grade 12 scholarship paper, the Euclid. This is the big one, the important one every year. So if we do well on the Hypatia. We assume that we can probably do well on the Euclid. So let's have a look here. If you'd like a copy of this contest, you can click the very first link in the description and you will get a copy of this Hypatia, the 2017 Hypatia. And uh, I do encourage you to practice it, print it out, try it on your own, give yourself the 75 minutes to do all the questions and things like that. And make sure, as with any contest, you do read all the instructions. I tend to skip over that because this is more about the math rather than the specific instructions. So let's jump into it. In this video, we're just going to take a look at question number one. A cyclic quadrilateral is a quadrilateral whose four vertices lie on some... <coughs> Whoa, excuse me. A cyclic quadrilateral is a quadrilateral whose four vertices lie on some circle. In a cyclic quadrilateral, opposite angles add up to 180 degrees. This is something that I would say is common knowledge if you know what a cyclic quadrilateral is. In the diagram... ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral. Therefore, a, B, uh, angle ABC and angle D, ABC is equal to 180, and BAD and BCD are also add up to 180 degrees. Okay, so um, looks like we have four questions, three of them light bulbs, one of them written, and all four of these questions have an associated figure. So, a part. In figure A below, ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral. If angle BAD is 88 degrees, what is the value of U? Okay, well, the opposite angle is 2U degrees, so they're really just testing your reading comprehension skills here. BCD is uh, the measure of the angle opposite BAD. So we can say something like, uh, we know BAD plus BCD is 180 degrees, this one's 88, this is 2U, so we rearrange and we get 2U is uh, 92 degrees, and U is going to be uh, divided by 12, so 46 degrees. Now it's a light bulb, so this is the only thing you need to write, just what I put in the box here. But this explanation here, as well as mentioning that it's a cyclic quadrilateral, would get your part marks in case you, you messed up. I mean, I did that fairly quickly. I did it all in my head. Uh, no calculator. I mean, calculators are allowed, but I didn't use a calculator. So I could very easily have screwed up. Maybe the answer is, is 47. Okay? I'd get nothing if I just wrote U equals 47 in the box. But if I show my work, I can get part marks, and that's what's important. Okay? It's not like the multiple choice format paper where every question is all or nothing. You can get part marks on these. All right, so B. In figure B, we've got uh, PQRS and STQR are cyclic quadrilaterals. Okay. If angle STQ is 58 degrees, what is the value of X and what is the value of Y? Okay. So I notice X is at SRQ, which is opposite of STQ. So those add up to 180 degrees. And then... Uh, Y is also going to be 58 degrees. Now you can see that because it's another cyclic quadrilateral here, or you could say, um, well, both uh, SPQ and STQ uh, subtend to the same chord, which is SQ, and inside a circle, angles subtended by the same chord are equal. So these would have to be equal anyway. Uh, and so we could just work from there, but let's copy our picture down and, and go from there. Okay, so I'm actually going to uh, color code 
We'll have a purple quadrilateral. When I talk about that, I will write in purple. And we will have a blue quadrilateral. And when I talk about that one, I will write in blue. And we'll just label everything. This is P, T, uh, I'm going to guess Q, R, and S from here, but we'll just double check. No, P, S, R, Q. Weird. I wonder why. Okay, uh, so we know 58 here, and we know X here, and we know Y here. All right, so let's talk about the blue quadrilateral first. So angle, so X is equal to angle S, R, Q, which is opposite to angle S, T, Q. So it's 180 minus 58. Uh, 180 minus 50, or 180 minus 60 is 120 uh, plus 2, so it should be 122. So x is 120 degrees. 122 degrees. And that's one of the things we need. All right. Now, y is angle SPQ, which is opposite angle SRQ, and we just worked out that that's 120. Two degrees. So 180 minus 122, that's going to be 158. Or sorry, just just 58. So therefore, y is 58 degrees. And if you needed to, I mean, if you wanted to justify, you'd say, well, it's opposite angle in a cyclic quadrilateral. This guy is the opposite angle in a cyclic quadrilateral, but I don't think those are necessary. Just the calculations are enough. Remember, every question in this contest is worth 10 marks. We've got four parts to this question. Okay, so I'm betting A, B, C. Each of those is worth is going to be worth two marks. Maybe C is worth three marks, and D is worth three or four marks. So you don't have to write a whole lot just to get that one part mark if you screw up. Okay. So on to our, our final light bulb question C. In figure C, so that's the, the JKLM here, it's odd that they're not going clockwise, they're going counterclockwise with their number or their lettering. Uh, in figure C, JKLM JK, is a cyclic quadrilateral with JK equal to KL and JL equal to LM. Okay, so we got a bunch of isosceles triangles in here. If KJL is 35 degrees, what is the value of W? And again, we just need the final answer. It's a light bulb question. So um, don't stress yourself out writing too much to get those part marks. Because if you're confident, I mean, it's question one. If you're writing the, the Hypatia with any confidence, you know how to do question one and do it well. So you won't really be relying on part marks. Okay, so J, K, L, and M. Let's redraw the circle a little bit to make M on here. Okay. And we know 35 degrees. Those two are equal, and these two are equal. Well, because those sides are equal, I know these angles are equal, whatever they may be. And I also know these angles are equal, and I know one of them is 35. Okay, so uh, JK equal to KL, so angle KJL is equal to angle KLJ, uh, but this one here is 35 degrees, therefore this one is 35 degrees. Okay, so this one's 35 degrees, and what exactly did we want? We wanted one of the angles. The angle of W. W is down here. Okay. So, um, well, I know W is opposite uh, W plus uh, 35. So, um, I know that KJM plus KLM is equal to 180. Now this is 35 plus our red dot 
plus 35 plus W is equal to 180. Okay, so that means that uh, dot plus W is 180 minus the 70, so 110. But I also know that uh, JML, because we've got a triangle here, JML is a triangle, plus uh, MLJ plus LJM is 180 degrees. But that's what? That's a W. We've got two of these dots here. Is equal to 180 degrees. But hey, that's 110. Therefore, our dots are equal to 70. And then what we, can we say? Well, 110 minus 70 is equal to W, but that means W is equal to 40 degrees. So there we go. W is 40 degrees, and we're all set. Okay. Uh, there's other ways we could have worked it out. I mean, JKL adds up to 180 degrees, so we could have gotten that, and then opposite that angle would have been uh, the red dot, gotten two copies of the red dot, and then again, we can solve for W doesn't really matter how we do it. We care about the final answer primarily here. Okay. So now D, and this is the one where we need to be careful what we write and state things like it's a cyclic quadrilateral, so the opposite angles add up to 180 degrees. Basically what we've been doing, but maybe with an extra sentence or two. Okay. In figure D, D, E, F, G is a cyclic quadrilateral. F, G is extended to H as shown. If D, E, F is Z, determine the measure of D, G, H in terms of Z. But it's, it's just going to be Z, isn't it? Yeah, it's just Z. That's, uh, I was expecting more from D part. So we'll see why it's Z in just a second. All right, so H, D, E, F, G. Okay, so we know this fellow over here is Z. So let's just uh, write this up. Uh, D, E, F, G is cyclic. So angle D, E, F, which is Z, plus angle D, J, uh, G, F is 180 degrees. But F, H is a line, a straight line, so angle D G, uh, DGF plus angle DGH is 180 degrees. So I'll take equation 1, equation 2, uh, equation 1 minus equation 2, we get uh, DEF minus DGH is equal to 0 degrees because the DGFs cancel out. But now this is Z, and this is DGH, so we're done. Z is equal to DGH. It's the, it's the exact same angle. This angle and this angle are the same. Not that hard, frankly. Um, maybe, a sen maybe you could have used more complete sentences, but that's the idea. That's, that's it. That's all it is. Okay. So that's question one on the Hypatia. A little simple, so maybe this was an easier year. I don't know. Maybe to compensate, question four will be really hard. Uh, I didn't mark the Hypatia this year, or for the for this particular year, so I don't... I marked the parts of the Euclid, so I actually don't know how well it was written or anything, or which of these are the difficult questions, but we'll find out as we continue to go on. Up next will be question number two, and then three, and then four, and then hey, we're down the Hypatia. So join me for question number two in the next video. And in the meantime, have yourselves a wonderful day. Thanks for watching.